while worshipping him you have to know that such a powerful thing you have to establish within yourself and by that establish you have to manifest the powers of shri ganesh and the power of shri ganesha's greatness is auspicious It's a coefficient. It's a formula, we can say, in scientific language, that emits auspiciousness. It's a magnet in the Mother Earth. the same magnet is within you which is shri ganesh you leave me alone and i can tell you which is the north south east west close my eyes still i tell you you know there are so many birds who fly out all the way to australia to siberia because they have that magnet with them they have that inner sense with them. There are so many fishes which have got actual magnet placed in them. Scientists should find out. In the same way, Shri Ganesha within us is magnetic. So a person who has Shri Ganesha awakened within himself, becomes magnetic. And magnet attracts the steel, not dried leaves, it does not, steel. And steel is like the Guru Tattva, is the man with the steel, say, man of steel, a person who has character, conviction, and who cannot be dominated by temptations, is a man of steel. So this magnet attracts the steel. Steel has only one badness, bad thing about it, that it is uh, not pliable, it's rather dry. But the magnet attracts, means it creates that special quality in the steel that it moves towards the magnet. In the same way, when this magnet is awakened within you, you'll be amazed. Instead of people running away from your ashrams, they'll be running towards you. I find it impossible, I go to any house. If they come to know I'm there, God save me. Anywhere, any place. So what is this magnet? It's pure love. It's pure love. And the concept of pure love is that it doesn't depend on anything whatsoever but on itself. It is the support of itself. It's like light that spreads just by its own nature, it doesn't want anything, doesn't expect anything, just 
spreads all over and enlightens other people's heart. That's why they get attracted. Those who have not even seen Me, those who have not even known Me, just with My name I've seen. Places like Calcutta, we had such a problem, such crowds, that they said, we have to call the police. I said, there's no need to call the police, but we'll manage somehow. In Pune, we had such crowds that the fellow <laughs> who gave us the hall got a fright. He said, Mother, I'll give you a very big area where you can sit down in a big open place, but I am sorry, in my hall all will be finished. I said, you don't worry. Everything will be in proper place. We had such crowds that people were sitting on the ground, on the staircase, everywhere, and till I spoke, nobody moved an inch, you see, like a picture. And I spoke for one and a half hour, just like a picture. No movement of hand, feet, eyes, nothing, just sitting like a picture. And the gentleman who owned that hall had never seen such a thing before. Throughout for one and a half hour, no movement of any kind. What is it that working? Is the magnet. Even if you are the steel, it will attract. But if you are a magnet, then it will attract in such a way that it will never leave this magnet. So for yoga it is important that you fix up your magnets of Shri Ganesha, who is the childlike personality. A child, there's one child, everybody is attracted towards the child. One child gets stuck up somewhere in the air. Whether you are a Russian, American or an Arab, everybody would be worried about the child, what's happening to the child. They will not think it's an Arab child or an American child, no. Unless until he's a devil. Why this attraction for children? Because their magnets are intact. Their ego has not yet developed. Our ego developed, had to develop, because we had to decide in our own freedom what is right and what is wrong. So the ego developed was all right. Up to a point we should have developed our ego, but we overdeveloped it. I overdeveloped it, overlapped the superegos, no conditioning. Nothing. We'll do whatever we like. Today we are wearing a half pant, tomorrow we'll wear a long pant, all right? Then we'll cut our hair or we'll do this, we'll do that. No conditioning of any kind. All superego was also covered, ego. This ego would have been all right if you had kept your Ganesh Tattva. And what is that? Is the wisdom power of Ganesha. The second power of Ganesha is that He gives you wisdom. If you see a farmer and a big professor or a very well educated man, and talk to both of them, you'll find the farmer has much more wisdom than this MAD, PhD. <laughs> Why? Because he deals with Mother Earth every day. He knows the living process, he knows about the innocence of the Mother Earth. So an innocent person is the wisest among a child who is innocent is much wiser than ten ego-oriented people. So 
So the second capacity of Sri Ganesha is that you become a wise person. When you speak, people start looking at you. You speak like Kabira, you speak, speak like Nanaka, you speak like something that makes people feel their spirit. This is what I call is a Sahaja A Sahaja who does not have wisdom is good for nothing. He comes to Sahaja Yoga and he is like a bull in a china shop, goes on hitting this person and hitting that person and hitting that person. And when you ask this three wounded person, they say that bull, the same bull, everybody reports about the same bull. Oh, that's the one, all right. So it grants you wisdom. When you have the power of Sri Ganesha, your eyes are radiant, you get a spark in your eye enlightened, when He is enlightened in you, then you cannot look at anyone with lust and greed. But this glance is so powerful that even one glance is sufficient to purify thousands of people. Just the opening of the eyes are necessary. And you find whole thing changes into a beautiful morning from a complete dark night. Glass can awaken the Kundalini. The mother Kundalini cannot move unless and until Sri Ganesha gives the permission. He is like the Vice-Chancellor sitting on all the chakras. He has to certify, all right, pass, go. <laughs> on every chakra. And when the Kundalini rises, Sri Ganesha is awakened, otherwise Kundalini cannot rise. But then when he sleeps down, Kundalini is sucked by him. Now we think we have lost our innocence, that's not easy to be lost, it, it's not destructible. Only thing, what you have done is to cover it with something that cannot allow Sri Ganesha's principle to manifest in us. You have pushed it down, you have brought pressure on it, you have brought loads and loads of nonsense on it. That's all. But it never dies. It is an eternal principle of the whole universe. The another quality of a person who is endowed with Sri Ganesha's powers is that he removes all the hurdles. If one person of this nature is in some place, all the rest of the people who are nearby will be saved if there's an accident or if there's any problem which is destructive, all of them will be saved. You will find this happening to you. He being the Ganapati, he is now the master of all the Ganas. He guides you. 
Sahaja Yoga cannot work out without Sri Ganesh. He is the one who is Sahaja. He is the one who creates all spontaneity of the world. He is the one who takes you to the right path. He is the one who gives you everything easily. He is the one who creates all the chamatkaras, all the magic, all the uh, miracles of the world. He is the Ganapati. He is the one who is sitting on ganas. In the sense that he is like the king of all the ganas. The one who has pleased Sri Ganesha has pleased all the gods and goddesses. Because all the gods and goddesses are pleasing Sri Ganesha. So what is the need? And Sri Ganesha is very clever. He knows. Please. His mother is the only simple thing he has to do. To have all the powers of the world. Just keep the mother pleased. There are so many qualities of Sri Ganesha which can be described. He is the one who gives us the joy of eating. If you eat some food, you may like it, you may not like it. But he is the one who will tell you it is made by Sajogis, it is made by your mother. That means he gives you the taste of love in the food that is good for you. Because he is love. He gives you the ideas how to express your love.
Hello everyone, we can take a few minutes to, to share before we start our day. Good morning everybody. Very cool vibrations uh, towards the, um, for the talk, I felt a lot of clearing and very cool during the, uh, the last bhajan, Hey Maja. I, I actually listened to it after some time and really, really enjoyed the. Um, <laughs> Same here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and the Devi coverage was very much needed. So thank you so much. It was absolutely fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. I think it's a great way to start our day. Yes, it is. <laughs> Thinking for, about myself, I really <laughs> felt it. No, the vibrations okay. now are so cool. Like, it's just amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. No, thank you. Good morning. Sure. Thank you. Hi, Carmela. Thank you. <laughs> it was beautiful. Have a great day. I love you all. Love you too. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. So we are recording this. We will share on our um, YouTube channel. Okay. I'm on the phone, but uh, I feel you guys. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> okay. Thank bye you. Bye. In your household, kisses. Have an amazing day. I sure start beautiful because of you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so nice to hear your voice. Thank you. Hello. And thank you, everyone. 
I enjoyed the program and I am just wondering who is the artist of this beautiful painting that's so nice yes I would love to know but no I have um um I gather all um different artwork that I receive yeah. from yogis so so gorgeous yeah yes really it's nice. just amazing yes very nice very tender yes so Thank you. Great thank start you. to the day. <laughs> we thank all the artists that that really um, transmit vibrations. Yes. And I'm so grateful. I was just listening to the music and seeing the painting. And I feel so grateful to all the artists and all the creativity that exists um, and is shared by, by realized souls, like yogis as well. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Rebecca. Hi, good morning. Good morning, Taruna. Yes, uh, it's uh, very good uh, when we heard the Devi cover. It's so powerful. And then the, uh, Sri Mataji talked about Sri Bhumi Devi Ma. But uh, today, uh, seven or five or seven, uh, seven uh, in our Montreal East Side, a big uh, earthquake. And in front of Sri Mataji, just we are praying and my whole building was shaking. Oh. And uh, all people outside and uh, maybe uh, the, uh, then uh, we pray also now uh, Sri Bhumi Devi Ma. So, That's amazing. I, I did not know that there was an earthquake in uh, Montreal. Montreal. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Maybe it's a uh, uh, Bhumi Devi Ma um, not happy for us or what? I don't know why it's happened. Yeah, can be many reasons, but it's really great. I mean, it's really great that we meditated spontaneously. It was everything around Sri Ganesha. Yeah, and uh, without any planning. Yes. Yeah, without any planning. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I think during that time we were listening to Shri Mataji's talk and the vibrations were quite heavy, like clearing, you know? Yes, yes, I felt, I felt the felt void the same. and I felt like so much. Better. And then after the, for the bhajan, all of a sudden, then it became cool. <laughs> I felt all of a sudden the levy shuddhi so strong and we know that it's um, a way of, even earthquakes are even a way of man the manifestation of Shri Shri Vishnu Maya and I just wonder why I feel all of a sudden Shri Vish, um, Levi Shudi so strongly and it's it's interesting yeah very interesting hello good morning good morning Niti yeah it was such an amazing talk of Shri Mataji yes. and uh, I love this talk very much because she assured that innocence never finished. <laughs> it may get clouded and sometimes, but it never finished. So that assurance is a big, I think, biggest assurance in the world. And uh, I like Durga Kavach. And uh, mm, it, was, it was really wonderful. And the bhajan also. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, everyone, have a wonderful day. And um, maybe before we end the session, let's do a bandan for the protection of innocent people all around the world. and for the wisdom and the compassion and pure heart to, to win over everyone involved in the conflict that exists right now in uh, Israel and Palestine area. So if the wisdom can prevail and again the innocent people to be protected and 
all the negativity behind those that conflict to be exposed so people can really not follow politicians, not follow those that desire war and conflict, but to really everyone to understand that we are all human beings and to open their hearts and to really search for peace and find a way to dissolve the conflict, find a way to trust the process of peace maybe to abandon for dharmic leaders to to appear and lead their people on both sides leadership to be changed and put the people first peace and truth to prevail My left heart is extremely cool. Jeshimata Ji, Namaste. I stop here if anyone else would like to share anything. Could I ask for Bandan for Kathleen, please? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Just help. Yes. done thank you thank you have a wonderful day everyone bye bye have a wonderful day bye 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 thank you bye bye thank you bye bye thank you goodbye <laughs>